Hi, my name is Enrique Madeira, and I may not be an artist, but I am an actor, which means we both chose this field of work because we desperately seek the validation of others. <clears throat> In this podcast series, I will be interviewing different types of artists who work in different medias, whether that's drawing, clay making, glasswork, etc., and how they support themselves and their artwork, whether it be by commissions or selling their souls to corporate companies. <laughs> no. I will also be informing you about the oohs and oats about asking artists for commissions and how to be a good patron and overall better person. So please, enjoy yourself. Good morning, evening, or night, fellow listeners. This is An Artist's View, where I talk about what I just mentioned previously. I'm not gonna repeat myself, keep up. Today, I will talk about the oohs and oats of asking an artist for a commission. First off, before you actually go on the Messenger app or really just say hello, introduce yourself, you need to do your research. Basically, what I mean by that is you have to look at their website or um, go on their Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, what have you, wherever they they have stationed themselves or even in person. You need to look at what they do, what they don't do. Are they legit? Do they have an FAQ, FAQ, frequently asked questions, and is the money sending link um, legitimate? And really just talk to other patrons if you're still not convinced. Also look at prices and can you afford it? First off, what they do and what they don't do. They obviously would have that under their frequently asked questions. Um, what they do, what they don't do, basically oh, no, um, no, no, no. their limitations really. And really, you have to respect that. If you see something that isn't to your tastes or is something that, that you want to do that they don't, by all means, go somewhere else. Find someone that will do what you want. But you have to respect that they have set those boundaries for themselves. You do. Also, are they legit? Are they not, like, rip-off artists? Will they just steal your money and then just, like, leave? Or, or do they just copy other people's work? Basically, with that is you can just um, ask other patrons. Um, look at their website, their Instagram, look at their feed, look at their archives on their Tumblr, uh, look, just see um, other commission work they have done, and look at the names they have posted on there. Um, talk to them, email them, or message them. Ask them if um, they are nice people, if they are good people. Ask them, was it a hassle working with them? Are they nice? Did they get what they asked for? Things like that. Just do your, yeah, just really ask mm -hmm. around. Don't be afraid, especially if you are wary. If the first few things haven't satisfied you, like what they do, what they won't do, are they legit, do they have an FAQ, is the money sending link um, legitimate, then really talk to their other patrons. Do that. You have every right. And backtracking just a little bit, what I mean by is the money sending link legitimate, basically does it look like something, um, the money sending link, when you click on it and it takes you to the website, does the website look legitimate? Are there like a seals of approval by like multiple banks and things like that? Or does it look like something that like as soon as you put your card information on, you're going to be bankrupt? That's basically what I mean. Make sure where you're sending your money is going to make it. Um, most websites that are uh, trustable are um, PayPal. What else? Actually, to be, I apologize. To be honest, all I know is just PayPal. That's all I've really used. I think there was one more. Don't really remember. I myself have only commissioned um, three pieces and it all has been through PayPal. And if they do take you to, if they do use one that does something related to you, do your research on that as well. Make sure people haven't been ripped off or anything. Really make sure that they are representing themselves as a respectable artist, really. They're not rip-off artists, they're not trying to scam you out of your money, things like that. Just make sure you're getting your money's worth out of what you're paying. And then once um, all that is said and done, then you move on to, can you afford it? Is this something you can afford? And that also kind of trails into talking with the, uh, with the artist, the commissioner, introductions, common decency. Don't be afraid of them. They aren't like those snooty artists that you usually see on movies or TV. They're about as big of a dork as you are. They are here for you to draw you as any superhero or a creature or monster that is in your mind. 
or they'll be willing to just draw any sort of random geometrical shape design quasi avant-garde thing that you'll set up on your on your wall in your house don't be afraid of them they're just normal average people talk about the commission details examples don't be bossy but first common decency introductions if you're um going to talk to them in person obviously there's common courtesy you say hello you introduce yourself things like that you don't just up front and say do this for me here's money do this for me now they'll want to talk with you they'll want to get to know you what your tastes are what your what you want from this any certain details i feel like that'll be easier if you're face to face when you're doing it on like the messaging program of like an app of instagram or tumblr or twitter or their website it's kind of hard because it's all in written word, you can't really get their voice. So if like you word something just a tiny bit wrong, it'll sound like a sarcastic remark <gasps> or something condescending, things like that. So basically, if it's in typed out form, just say, hello, my name is so-and-so, and I would really like to get a commission from you. Do you have time to talk? You know, something as simple as that. Or maybe even really just get to know them, especially if you really are a little nervous. Introduce yourself, you know, talk to them. You know, be friendly. But don't establish a friendship if you're expecting, you know, a free commission out of it later on down the line. Don't do that. That is just wrong and disrespectful and a waste of their time and a waste of your time. I mean, just, it it doesn't hurt to be a good person, a good, decent person to them. My goodness. They are people as well. They're not just a printing machine that'll give hand you just a, a painting or whatever. They, they, they have feelings. They are people. They are people that have spent their time and money exercising their craft, not just for themselves, but for others. They have chose, they actually have chosen to be like, you know what, I don't just want this artwork for myself, I want it for others. I want others to buy it. I want people to pay for it, things like that. And so that's just a big risk for them as well, as it is for you. Next up, don't be afraid of them. They are um, about as big of a dork as you are. They really are. They, um, I've talked to a few and <laughs> They share the same problems with me. They, you know, share some of the same experiences with me. They're just very chill, nice people. You know, they set up they set up this list of things they're willing to do. They set up their time just for us, you know? They are friendly people. They did take their time. Now, if they're the ones that um, start up being rude or anything like that, then maybe you shouldn't spend any more time with them. Maybe you should move on, move on. And if anyone asks you about them, you know, just give them your peace and then move on. Don't waste your time on them at all, especially if they turn out being rude first. Other than that, they are just, they are friendly people, at least the ones that I've talked to, they are all friendly. They're all nice and charming. Just, you just be nice to them. They will be nice to you. Next, talking about the commission, the details. First off, don't be bossy when it really comes down to talk about the commission and what you want. First and foremost, it's a collaboration between you two. They are there listening, writing down the details, and you're there just giving it to them, like trying to get them to picture what you want. It's a collaboration. It's a, you give it to them, they give it to you. It's a back and forth kind of deal. It isn't an all one-sided thing. You need to remember that it is a shared effort. Don't be a slave driver, really. Be nice. Again, this goes back to the common decency. Be nice. Um, If you do have examples for them, then show them, Um, take pictures of them, send that to them, say, you know this little design right here? I want that. Or you see the way this is set up? Kind of like that. Or you see this position? Like that. Or but switch up the arms. You know, it's okay if you give z examples. That's all right. You do want your creation to come to life and they don't want to mess it up. Because I know one thing that com most commissioners don't like is when they're like pretty much near the end and they show the patron and they're like, no, no, that's not what I wanted. How were they supposed to know? You should have you should have said something when they were showing you the outline drawings, when they were showing you the pencil art, the sketch art, the concepts. You should have told them something else. And that's what that's what the collaboration thing comes in. It's a back and forth kind of deal, you know, stay in touch with them, answer their questions or ask them questions. Make sure you still keep a good open communication with them. You should not tell them to just change everything by the time they're close to done. That is rude and that is just a waste of time. And it's okay if you have examples. And be nice about it, like I said before. Just show them, like, this design right here. All that good stuff. That's okay. Just make sure you don't talk their ear off. 
it's kind of hard to find that happy medium, especially with when I said, you know, don't be bossy, yada, yada, yada. The happy medium is really just keeping it conversational. Kind of last but not least of just that point, can you afford it? Can you afford it? Is this something that is within your budget? Is it? Don't waste their time and they won't waste yours. And then the biggest, biggest thing I can tell you right now, do not negotiate price. Do not negotiate your price. I'm gonna say that one more time. Do not negotiate price. They are the price setters. They are the ones that say, okay, you want this, this, and this? Here's the price. In fact, in their frequently asked question, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a price range on whether if it's gonna be this type of commission piece, it'll be that much. If it'll be something else, this much, etc., etc. One of the common things that I've noticed about m most commissioners is that when it comes to um, the drawing and the certain size, if it's just a face or a profile drawing, it's a bit cheaper. If they want like upper body, the, they'll up the price. Then if it's a full body, then a bigger price, obviously. And when it comes to the details, like if it's just normal black and white, or if it's just um, flat color, or if they want dimension to it, then that's when the prices start to go up, the detailing, the things like that. But you don't get to negotiate that. You do not get to negotiate that with them. They are the ones that get to say that. They, again, I repeat myself, they have taken the time to set up their price, to master their craft and hone it for this, for commission work. They saw their drawings and they said, this is good enough to sell, this is. You do not get to tell them what the price is. You don't get to say, you know what, this doesn't look as great as I thought it would. Can I pay you something cheaper? No, no you do not. No, you do not. They will want the money up front. They actually, yes, going back a little bit, they will want the money up front before really they'll ask for any commissions. And then depending on even most of the details, they might up the price just a little bit, but you still cannot negotiate with them. You want something extravagant and detailed and complex, you're gonna pay for something extravagant and detailed and complex, and you will like it, you will. You can't negotiate with them. You can't be like, hey, this only took you, you know, ten, this awesome thing only took you 10 minutes to make, why should I pay you $10,000 for it? And they will say, they should say, well, that's because I spent 10 years to figure out how to do that in 10 minutes. Thank you. That should just be the bottom line for you, honestly. That should be the bottom line of that. So jot that down, folks, thank you. And honestly, if you don't like the price, find other people, please just, that's what the internet is for. Really just go out there. And I'm just talking about drawing, but um, this can also translate into other medias as well. Whether it's blowing glass, um, metalwork, carpentry, clay making, things like that. Common decency, really. Just look at their price checks. If you don't like the price, move on. Don't try to negotiate with them. Please, they don't like that. They will probably ignore you and they'll tell other people about you. The art world might seem extravagant and big, but trust me, it is very small and word gets around pretty darn fast. So be careful, you do not want to be known as that guy who just cannot take the pricing, or that is just a handful to work with, or is just unreasonable. You don't. You do not. Don't be that guy. Plain and simple. Don't be that guy. Other than that, those are the oohs and oonts of asking an artist for a commission. Overall, the main theme here is common decency, be a good person. And um, if you do find things that seem kind of shady, move on and their attitude really shows in their work. If they are a good person, if they have set the price right, if, well, like I said, a good person, then it'll show in their work. So now I just leave you with that, with that piece of knowledge. You know, just go out there, you know, Find someone, ask them to draw you as your favorite superhero. Have fun, really. Haven't, haven't you wanted to look like a superhero? Haven't you look like a spy or a dragon or things like that? Haven't you ever wanted to know what you look like in the eyes of someone else? That experience feels really good. When I did my first commission, it was a bit of a not safe for work commission, but when I did my first one, it felt just so endearing and charming that this is the way this artist saw me. The artist I went to was on Instagram. Is on is still on Instagram. His name is Dandy Leone. I took advan I uh, took his holiday deal offer, which basically was just um, eighty dollars, which was with what should have been a hundred dollars. So pretty nice on my behalf, especially for a good deal. 
and to just know that's how he saw me, it just felt so amazing. It felt so energizing for some reason. It felt really good. It just felt really good. It's a good feeling when someone, when you see how someone else sees you, especially in, especially in such a positive and strong light. So I definitely recommend all of you go talk to a commissioner. Just don't be mean. Don't be rude. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. Don't be that person. And that is where I leave you at, my good folks. I'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Enrique Madeira, and I may not be good at making an entrance, but I am good at leaving people high and dry. Please, stay tuned. And remember, enjoy yourself.